the masks we show people to our life. What do you see as the differences and and what you're bringing in with Sensei that um, and why do you do this in comparison to others trying to live forever? Yeah, so <laughs> almost not ever, but you know. So when it comes to when it comes to our approach to you know capturing ourselves, our memories, our, our histories, our stories, our experience, our knowledge, we for Sensei it really comes down to the fact that it's extending our minds you know beyond the cycle that we live in so we have a lot of like contemporary applications for the technology because these cycles it's easy to talk about like oh you know if i die tomorrow my replica will be able to share my knowledge my voice my, my video with, with friends family kids grandkids great grandkids and it will it will exist on and they can get to know me with whatever i've put into it the reality is when we actually have that data now it enables us to be a lot more available to those around us and enables us to function better and quicker as well. So for, for me, it's not just a, a tool for preservation for our, our life, which I mean, is the ultimate goal here is have a, a backup of me, right? Have a, have a mem memory backup, a, a mind vault, a, you know, a, a digital me. And so these, these replicas as a technology is not just about you know, preserving ourselves, future generations, and preserving a, a, a an interactive version of us, you know, as we are, but also an extremely useful tool for us right now by having, you know, the perfect personal assistant of yourself.